and and you just go ahead and start off. We'll figure out how to intro it later. <laughs> okay. So basically, um, the the main idea there's a concept that uh, we have in Auto Hotkey that I haven't seen uh, very often, which is that it, it, either I haven't seen it or um, you know like other languages do it differently, or I myself personally haven't seen it. One of both, but. You know that at a hard key, when you create arrays, especially when they have key, key value pairs, right? Uh -huh. They get sorted automatically. You know that, right? So, so sure. well, they both are sorted automatically, right? It's just one you actually have the one is if we don't provide the key, it's using the index and it's sorted by the index, right? Right, right, right. Okay. But anyway, Very yeah. good. So, so, so if it is, if it is an, an index, a number, right? That makes sense. It is going to be from one to the right. number that you have. But if it is a key value pair, it gets um, sorted alphabetically by the key. It's stored. Yeah, right. It's stored like that, right? right? Now, that created a small bug that I had never, I, 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 I didn't see that one coming. And let me show you. <laughs> so, um, the one thing, so let me go ahead and, uh, oh, I don't have anything turned on, so. Okay, so let's go ahead so and see. So you were doing something where the order mattered is what you're. That's the funny thing. I was not expecting at all that code, the, the order really uh -huh. mattered. And actually the way that I wanted to kind of like describe it to you, Maybe it was just to show you the problem and see if you can figure it out. But I already told you what the problem is. Right. The only yeah, thing is yeah, that yeah, I still, know the, what yeah, to look but, for. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know what to look for. But even if you know what to look for, it is still surprising. And I'm trying to open yeah. the S code. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, I tried to open the S code. My computer is acting really strange. Okay. Anyways, so let me see. Right. I click on it. You might want to look in your taskbar and see if it's actually running and kill it and then relaunch it. But that's um it would it would show up well it, it should more. Right. I mean that's that's when I when I have the, right. thing, the experience that you're seeing, that's what I do is just there's yeah. one version running somewhere that for some reason's not becoming visible um it's weird right so you mean in your on the task manager is what you mean yeah yeah sorry yeah it's yeah. the taskbar right right so because i was looking at the taskbar and i was like yeah, yeah no, that's, there's yeah, that's not what I meant. No. and again look i opened the task <laughs> right manager and it didn't yeah the programs are not really kind of like working oh there's one there we go um we oh yeah there they are and yeah, none of them have launched. windows right but they're oh that now they're opening so now the window might be displaying soon so let's go ahead and kill that one that is interesting um there was an update down uh, last night so things are not mm. this is completely new and now look at that it is opening new all right so we okay, got so, 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, my computer decided to work, which is, right. <laughs> you know, so uh, it decided to kind of like open it now. So we have it here. Um, our problem here is so I'm going to set up some code, and you're going to tell me what you right. you expect when I go ahead and and loop over it. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to uh, grab um, a variable, and we're going to set some key value pairs on it. So I'm going to have, uh, so let's F keys, which is what I was trying, basically. So let's start with F1, F2, F3. That's OK. Um, let's say keyword. Let's have enter, escape, shift, out of here. Then we are going to have um, something else, like mouse buttons, which is exactly what I was just trying. So uh, L button. Uh, our button, right? That's what we have. Now, I'm going to do for keywords. Um, so for keyword value in keywords, right? So I'm going to grab each of them. 
And this is the funny part. Uh, first of all, let me let me let me do the following. Yeah, output debug, and we're gonna have the keyword. That's good. Now, what do you expect to happen right now? So um, when I run the script, a an output debug window is gonna pop up, and in there, there's gonna be some um, some you know, it's going to display each of the keywords. What is your expectation of this? Well, just from what you said earlier, which, and it does make sense, right? Because I know it, it does, it, line five reads everything in and stores it in an object, you know, in mm -hmm. keywords. And uh -huh. in that process, it, it, you know, kind of reorganizes it in the sense of it will be, should be ordered when you uh -huh. go to out, when you go to iterate over it, then it would start okay. alphabetically with the the. Okay, so let's go ahead and double check that. Let me create a key that has a D in it, so it's kind of like right. it's going to show up before the others. And the so only thing have... is like I also I'm used to putting quotes on both sides of things, and I guess because yeah. you don't have spaces in there, it doesn't matter. Is that that's 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 the point? So basically, yeah. I like to have it this way so I could differ differentiate them. Like on one side, yeah. I have the key, the other one, I have the text. So it's, uh -huh. it's, it's easier, easier to me. see. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. And now, if you're controlling if, the keys, then. Yeah. So the only thing I only put it when I really need it. Right. Yeah. So now I have some key. Weird. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Now. So in my question to you is, OK, so how many of these things you're going to get? That's the first one. And second of all, um, in which order you think you're going to get it? Well, I mean, can we, for this purpose, or unless you're going to, are you going to step through it when you do it? No, no, I'm not going to step through it. I'm just going to, just going to show the, the result. Because I, I, I'm i not as familiar with the output debug, but that's where, I, with a message box, we would uh, see. It, it is going to be the same, is, is the same message okay. box and output debug. Okay. The only difference is that instead of showing me each message and stopping, this is going to just run the whole program and it's going to show me the result at the bottom. That's it. Yeah. So it should, it should iterate over all of them um, right. with the key value pairs. And so, yeah, I right. would the D key because it starts with the D would be first. Right. Keys on the right. And then now, and then it's going to start probably with V key, right? Then it's going to go with F, then K and M, right? So if I run this, um, I have it exactly as, as we just described. We have D key yep. first, even though it's the last one here. Right. Um, we have F key here, and each of them have their own little values. Their value. Yeah. Now, here's the issue, and this is interesting uh, to me. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do is kind of like grab everything and put it, oh, each of those keys into a new key that is going to be called all. So I'm going to put keyword dot all. And I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the values, all these values. I'm going to just append them one to each other. So it's going to be like this. And I'm using a space. So let's go ahead and use a space. So I'm just concatenating everything that I have here into all, right? So let me quote those. Um, keywords. Now. Can you guess the bug that is going to happen right now? <laughs> well, oh no, hold on. That's a, that's a good one now. No, um, when well, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're appending each one. Right, yeah. That's the value. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and look at this. You already have a hint. Just imagine when you don't have any hints. When you, you're not expecting something specific like that. Like, what? Well, I, I still think, I mean, I think we would just get them in the order. Yeah. So it, yeah. So I'm going to, so, so your idea is, okay, well, what is going to happen is that I'm going to get um, all my keywords, like, because right now, so, yeah. so right now I'm just grabbing the values and putting them in all. So I'm going to go ahead and put here all, uh -huh. right? So I could just see the value of all. And what is going to happen is that you're going to see all the keys. You see all those If you things. look at it down below, skipping the uh -huh. first one, so be some key, weird, F1, F2, F3, enter, escape, shift, left button, right. right. Well, well, and this is the funny thing. When I run it, you are never going to expect 
that some keys are going to get duplicated. Look at that. Some key weird, some key weird. Well, but I think that's how you're using the the pre the the append, isn't it? Is it, no, 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 no. It's not that. <laughs> that's the funny thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so even though even though you're appending, yeah, your expectation is never that some values are going to get duplicated. I, I knew that they get sorted. Okay. But why is it getting duplicated? So let's go ahead and investigate that. Yeah. Okay, so, right. okay, so let's go ahead and first put the, the same output debug that we had before. Right, yeah. Now, and let's go ahead and break in there. So I have the first um, value here, which is some weird key. And my keyword at that point is the key. Now, when I run the second time, my value is some weird key and the keyword is also the key. And I'm like, hold on, that makes no sense. Why did it do it two times? Now the third time, my value is F1, F2, F3 and my F key and my, my keyword is F key. So now it continue, hold on. Is it that the loop is running twice? Let me put here an A index, okay. So now let's put the A index. Let's see what that does. Let's not break here. Let's break over here. Again, now my A index says one. My two is the same as before. I'm still like baffled. Like, hold on. Why is it getting duplicated? And in, uh, in a situation of kind of like those weird things that you try, like, let me just try it. Let me just do that. I just decided to put here um, keywords dot count. Now, let me see if you can guess this one out. <laughs> so now let me remove the value because I don't care about the value right now. I have my index, I have my keyword, which is the, the first name and then the count. Let's see what you see here. Um, okay. So in all the situations, and actually this is not what happened to me yesterday. I actually saw it differently. Now it says that the keywords count. Oh, let me put it up here. No, there we go. Now we have it. This is how I had it yesterday. Notice that on the first index, the count for keywords is four which is totally expected because I have one, two, three, yeah. four keys. Right. But on the second run, the count of it is five because I just created a new key right here. Yeah, sure. Okay. Fine. Right. What is not expected is that if you, during a for loop, it's you add a new, if you yeah. add a new key, it not only updates it, it actually sorts it in order. So now the first key is all, the second key is the key. Yeah, okay. Now, so the first time you run it, the key was counted. Now you created a new key, it yeah. got sorted. And now the second key, which is it, is the key again. So this because, is kind right, of- Because you've added to yeah, it. Yeah, right. So, so this yeah. is- for if you me, did not see keys, it would have... Right. It, no, that's the funny thing. If the, the key that I used was the new, I wouldn't have that problem. Right. So if I run it now, I would have my order normally and I wouldn't have any issues. Which is, this is a bug that is completely difficult to spot. It is something that... Unless yes. you know what you're looking for, or on, 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 unless you understand exactly what is going on, yeah. Yeah. it's really difficult for you to catch this one. Um, well, the, the thing yeah. is, yeah, you updated that object. Yes, and, 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 and that's the thing. So for me, as I'm inside a for loop, even if I update it, I was not expecting the update to take place right there. I was expecting for at least to either be right. cached, like put it at the end, and then at the end of the for loop, then uh, yeah. 
organize it or whatever, because I'm just telling you for each keyword in that uh, in that object, do this. Well, when you started, there were only four keywords. I'm only expecting it to happen for those four keywords. I'm not expecting it to happen for anything else. And the fact that if you yeah, it modify shifted. that to an all or an, a Z, or for example, right. it, the bug appears and disappears. That's the kind of thing that makes it so complicated for people to grasp um, how it works. I actually rather have the array not sorted, okay, not sorted automatically, right? So whenever I add keys, it's not sorted. It's just exactly as I added. And if I need them sorted, I would sort them myself. That's what I would do. Well, But, but basically, I think there is kind of like a, a, a performance issue in there seems to be that uh, sorted arrays perform better than not sorted arrays. So they decided to automatically sort it for you. But this is a very complicated bug. You have to know what is going on. Yeah, yeah I don't know if I call it a bug, but it's a feature, however you want to say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the bug was the duplication of a, of, of a key. So if, just, if- I don't think it's a, it's a bug, it's just, it's- it's it's with the way it works, right? For, for, yeah. So 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 this is the thing. The way it works is not a bug. The way it works, which is sorting the array automatically, is not a bug. That's not the bug. The bug is when I try to run something and it duplicates the value twice. But, the, but the, that's a bug for me. It's not a <laughs> bug because you've injected something in in inside it earlier, right? So it, it shifted. Um, and but anyway, question, whatever you want to call so, it, right? so, it doesn't so, matter. So, just... so, so, so uh, this unexpected behavior, there we go. Say like, right. So it is not a bug, it is unexpected. Right, yeah, um, agreed. Absolutely. Right, so it is unexpected right. behavior that it is something that I do not know if that happens in other languages. So oh, I, I think have... it does, yeah. Really? Yeah, I think it's just the way the nature of, because... In most, like in Python, so like they, they store them also, I think, in the same way. You know, they're automatically sorted. That's the thing. So if you are looping through one of them, is it going to reorganize the array for you without you noticing? Yes. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah. I mean, it's something obviously we can easily test, right? Yeah. I will try it on, on JavaScript, by the way. I would just go ahead in JavaScript and yeah. I will it's just add a something thing and just... Again, how like I said, however you want to phrase it, it's it's the unexpected, um, the unexpected, and the problem is sometimes it introduces things that I was not, I don't need. So I don't need the keywords two times in my all keyword because, as I was showing you before, here my all keyword now has the same thing twice. Sure, yeah, but and, and that's not something that I want. Absolutely, right, right, right. right. So you could create a different object to store that right then you wouldn't have to worry about it um yes so basically it would be like instead of creating a keyword like this i would just go ahead and say all first right and then in the end keyword all i would say all and that would solve the issue right that right. would be the correct um the correct implementation of this because now you have a, a variable in here that has nothing to do with your object right. So it's not going to get, um, um, uh, and then at the end of your iterations, so it would be four, then the keywords all gets assigned that what you. Here, here would be my question is, and because I just don't know what you're doing. Um, why do you want all of the things together? Right. So what, what was happening is I was, um, I was creating kind of like um, a database in which I have different types of keys. Uh, let me just show you. So I was updating, I was updating uh, a specific piece of code and we were, that was, hold on. Oh, wow. It just, just went blank. Like yeah. I know no, that I was so sort of yesterday. Modified? Uh, no, but because I think it's not here. Oh yeah, see, yeah. So the PC locker, yes, of course. 
<laughs> so what happens is that's fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that is so weird. Sometimes that happens to me. Um, so this is uh, remember the 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 um um the function that I was talking to you about right. that you could include and exclude things. And the function had a little issue. It handles specific kind of things, but it cannot handle when you pass it a normal um, um, hotkey like this, Control Shift A. Mm -hmm. It didn't handle that. So what I did is that I just rewrote some things in object mode and so on. And basically, one of the keywords. Oh, the other the solution that I came up with is just creating the key first here at the top, empty. And then oh, okay. assigning other things. Right. So, so it's already, the there. already there, right? Exactly. Just that, that solves the issue as well. Now, um, in other, in other, so all of these things are keywords. So you could here in the included list, you can select different keywords. Like for example, MSB would include all the mouse button keys and um, all the, the lower, it would include all the lower case. But there are some special keywords like alphanumeric, right? Alphanum, that would just consist of the lower case and the number case. So I already have them both, right? I already have the lower case and the num case. So I just need to say that keywords, so keywords that alnum, for example, is just a mix of keywords. Um, dot num, right? That's one, and I'm gonna use a tab, and then keywords dot uh, uh, lower, for example. So now my all non keyword can be easily created by using the already existing keywords instead of me having to type the whole thing manually, like you know. Sure. Yeah. So, so basically, sure. this saves me the time of doing that, and the the all keyword means all of them together. So I don't want to type them all of them and the, for them separately. I just write them separately and then just append each of them to the all keyword. That's what I'm doing. So, see, what I would think about doing is just nesting the the num. M was that MSB? I can't. I can't oh, sorry. So, um, right. So, yeah. So, so nesting each of those things, which there are, they are, and just iterating over them as a in a in a loop in a for loop or whatever. When you want the all, right? You already have them in. All an right. Object. So, so that's the thing. The reason why I needed all right away is that if you pass the function just with the word all, and you don't give anything to exclude. It would just return. So I need the all list right away. That's the first thing I need. So um, before I do any complex computation down here, so before I do any complex computation, if you just call the function like this, so either if you call it like this, what is going to happen is that it is going to assign the, the keywords and right away, it would just go ahead and return it. So it's not going to do any computation whatsoever. So it just goes like this. It just returns. And now that it returned, it will just create the output for me right away. So it, 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 it will not do any computation whatsoever. It just goes ahead and um, grabs the list, creates the all. Did you just say all and nothing else? Then here's your all list. That's what happens. So I don't I don't want to do it while I'm computing other complicated stuff. That's what happens, and that's for me to handle the default call for this um, function, which the default is all. And now I have the all keyword here, and now I want to exclude some things. I don't want the mouse buttons. So I have all my keyboard. I want all I I want the list of all the keyboard keys but not the mouse buttons. In that case now, this thing will have to do some computation. It's gonna start with the all list. And then from there, I'm gonna start excluding things based on the keywords. And it is easy to exclude 
because as the keywords are themselves kind of like um, uh, key value pairs here, I just use this key to remove that from the list just automatically. So it's, it's going to be easy. And th this is what I was working with uh, when I found this little weird bug <laughs> that it is kind of like, uh, uh, um, it's something that I was not expecting. It was something that was throwing me out. And I was like, yeah, I know that it's sorting, but does that shift everything in a way that it reads again the same thing that I just read? Yeah. And yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and and the reason why it didn't surprise me as much was just from watching. I've I've spent a lot of time watching Mace Rift do this kind of stuff. And, mm -hmm. and like, it's not that I've done it. It's just I, I know from talking to him that like, yeah, those things update. It updates everywhere when you update it. Like it's it's not like you were saying like well it's already started down this loop right but it, like and i forget it what i was doing not, yeah so <laughs> it, it dynamically changes right then and there in the thing and i forget we were working on some i think translation oh no 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 we were doing combinations of crazy stuff um and okay. anyway it was really complex and, and that's where i realized like oh that's a it's that's inside it. your own loop it's updating with whatever right it was like right and and, and, and i think the the one thing that is uh, creating the situation is the fact that it is sorting it. If it was just updating it, well, in that's the how you that, noticed it, right? Yeah, right, so exactly. So, so right, right. So if it was just appending the new keyword, right, um, at the end of the of the object, right, right, but, but you wouldn't even notice started. the problem, right. right? And I know here's the thing: like in Python, I think it was there. They're... You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so basically, you would notice it because the last key, the last key on the loop is going to be the all key, and then it's going to append the whole thing to all again. So it's going to be double. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you will you will see that you will see it at uh, in some way or another. The only problem is that it is something that I was not really yeah. um, when you're coding it, you're not expecting that behavior, right? And, and trying to figure it out, like if you don't know what you're looking for it might be very complex. The one thing is if you see that you're in a for loop going keyword by keyword or, or key by key in an object and your things are getting duplicated, it has all to do with the sorting of that particular object. It's something that is not, um, there is no way around that one. <laughs> Well, you just you just create the keys first. I think the, yeah, you the, the placeholder, the, right? Right. You just create yeah. the keys that you're going to use first, and then later on you just append data to it, and that's that's going to be okay. Unless um, it is something that you don't know ahead of time. Like for example, I know that I want that key in there, right? But what if I don't know what the key is? So that's where. Uh, well, again, that you could you could have and the other the thing. other the other way that we were uh, doing it which is by uh, by opening like, like like by having it in, in its own variable it and then just exactly right. that's, the other, that's the way to fix it in that <clears throat> yeah um, anyway yeah cool yeah interesting okay stuff. then yeah all right man yeah that was that was very interesting okay we're gonna be talking later <laughs>